I know what you're thinking. Is it even possible to build and publish an entire website in just 10 minutes? And if it is, what differences would that website have if I spent an entire hour designing it? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna find out in this video. So here's the deal. I have the same stock images, the same text, the same logos, and the same colors that I'm gonna use for both of these websites. And I'm also gonna include the time that it takes for me to sign up for a custom domain name and for web hosting. I think you guys are gonna be impressed with the differences between the two sites, so be sure to stick around until the end for the reveal. Now let's go ahead and jump into the first website. So get that timer ready, three, two, one, boom. Let's get started. Okay, so this is a co-branded landing page that I have with Hostinger, and so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll on down. And I'm gonna be using my favorite plan, which is the premium shared hosting plan. And so you get all of this stuff included. I'm not gonna go into it now because I'm in a bit of a rush, but right here for 299, you're already getting 75% off. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on select right here. All right, next I get to choose my period. So I'm gonna choose the 12 months right here for 269 a month. Scroll on down, I've got my credit card information. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that really quickly. All right, so I'm gonna click on start now. Uh, I'm gonna click on skip so I don't even have to answer any of these questions and I want WordPress to download in the background. So let's go ahead and create my password here. There we go. And then I'm gonna click on continue. And then let's see, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do this on my own. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on skip and close out of this as well. And now I get to claim my free domain name as well. And that's the cool part about using the premium shared hosting plan that I selected. So let's go ahead and try out 10minsite.com and then click on search. Perfect, it's available, so I'm gonna click on continue. From here, finish the setup. All right, from here, I'm gonna click on manage WordPress dashboard. Okay, and then after the propagation is done, I'm just gonna click down here on install for my SSL certificate, and it's gonna do it in the background, which is fantastic, so I don't even have to touch that. So I'm gonna click on close, and it's installing, so let's click on edit website. How much time do we have? Okay, wow, we're already cutting it close. All right, so here we are on the WordPress dashboard. From here, I'm gonna go over to plugins and add new. I'm also gonna close out of my H panel because I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna search for starter templates, which looks like it's auto filling, which is fantastic. Go faster, please. All right, so then I'm gonna click on install now. And then as soon as it's done, I'll also click on activate to start it up. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here to the appearance tab and then click on starter templates. And from here, it's time to download a template and my time is looking okay. I'm gonna select Elementor because that's the page builder that I'm gonna be using. Okay, so now I get to choose my template. I'm gonna search for Sierra because I think that's gonna be a good template for this video. I'm gonna use the one with the elephant right here. So now I actually get to use my logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right here and say upload files, select files. Let's go to logos and I've got all three of them here. So let's click on open. Perfect, and I'm gonna use my white one right here. So I'm gonna click on select and I can choose my width, so I'm gonna make it that size, continue. All right, my default colors, and I'm gonna choose this one right here, I think, the monster, uh, let's see. Yeah, I kinda like that, all right. So I'm gonna click on continue, and I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna update a plugin, skip and continue. I wanna install everything entirely, and let's go ahead and say submit and build my website. And so hopefully this loads really quickly. Okay, perfect, congratulations, I can view my site. So I'm gonna click on it and there we go. The template's been downloaded and I also have my logo up in the corner. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on, let's do customize first. Let's open the site up on a new tab and customize. So from here, I'm gonna go over to global and colors. I'm gonna change this to my brightest red here and bright red again, so it's nice and sharp. I think that looks really good. Let's see, I'm gonna go back and change my button default, and I want it to be a rectangle like this, perfect. All right, done. So I'm gonna click on publish to save my work there. I can't believe I'm almost out of time already. Publish. All right, let's get out of here and open with Elementor. Okay, so now we are in crunch time. I'm gonna go up here and edit the section, change my background here, so. Okay, so now that my images are installed, I'm gonna click this one and use it for the background. Boom, done. All right, so next I'm gonna change my text here, Command Tab, and let's see, I'm gonna take this one, Command C. I think this is done. We've already created the hero section. Let's move on to the about section. Okay, so that's our about section, done. So let's move on to the project section. Oh my gosh. I am racing against the clock right now. Edit the section, go to the style tab, and I'm going to change my background. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it in my voice, but I am getting nervous. I can't believe I'm trying to crunch this into 10 minutes. Okay, so now I've got this. I'm gonna change this to projects, just like that. And let's go ahead and change this text first. So command tab. All right, next one, it's just copy and paste. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no, I copied the wrong thing. Control C, control V. Here we go, and I'm running out of time. Ah! Control V. All right, so let's move on to the last section here, which is the project section, which I'm actually gonna change to the services section. 
Done, okay, let's change these three images. Style, let's go to content, change this image here. And then I can click on this one and choose my final image, which is gonna be this one. Oh my gosh, I can't even resize my images. Oh my gosh, this looks so bad, okay. And then finally, we can try and add a contact section and that's my timer. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We didn't even finish the website. Ah, oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it one last time. So we have a hero section and it looks pretty good. I really like this skyscraper picture in the background, especially from the top down view. I think it looks really cool. And then we've got the about section, which I was able to finish. So that's pretty good. And then we scroll on down a little bit more and we've got the project section. And so what I would have liked to do is add another quote that I have right here so I can show you guys. Uh, the road to success is always under construction. So that would have been an easy copy paste again. And then for the services section, I would have just done a quick change to make sure that I center all my images. So I would probably resize this image and make sure that it fits. And that way I can kind of resize them to all fit in the same space. And then again, this would just be copy and pasting my services sections. And that's it. I would have also liked to, within that 10 minutes, add a quick contact section. So let me show you guys what I mean by that. I was basically just gonna click, instead of this guy, on this gray folder icon right here. I could have gone over to blocks and then I can choose contact right here. And let's pick a freebie. So this one, I'm gonna click on insert. Perfect. And now you can see that it would have installed the contact section into my website, which isn't much of a contact section. It's just showing off my hours, my contact right here, and that's it. But it's better than nothing. In 10 minutes, it would have been really hard to try and crunch in a contact form. So that is the 10 minute website. I'm gonna go ahead and go over and click on update my work to save it. And so now it's published onto the website. So I'll see you guys when I build the one hour website. All right guys, you already know the drill. I'm gonna select Hostinger's premium hosting plan to get the maximum amount of savings using my coupon code, create a pro website at checkout. From there, it's just business as usual, getting the theme installed and adding all my media to the site just like last time. For the hero section, I decided to do something a little different and add a video background and add some extra call to actions to really make this section eye catching and pop. I also decided the last service section could stand to be a bit more flashy, so I added some more images for each service and added a hover animation for each one. This looks way better now. For some extra functionality, I decided to add a Calendly widget right on the homepage so that clients can book appointments easier. I also added an Instagram feed to the homepage to display this fake company's social media. Next, I added a preloader animation and some motion effects to really make the website come to life. The last thing I did was edit the site for mobile responsiveness. And I think the site is looking pretty sick. Alright guys, with a little bit of time to spare, I went ahead and finished the one hour website. So now I want to show you guys both websites side by side. So let's get into it. So the first thing you'll notice is this awesome preloader with the logo right here as well as that progress bar. And it's all kind of matching the same colors of the website, which I really like. And then obviously the video in the background just looks so clean. I really like that. And then I got all my text over here on the left hand side as well as some of these icons which I thought looked really cool and then obviously still the learn more button. So I probably would have hooked that button up to like another about page or something like that but it's good enough for now. I also really like how with my header navigation I put my social media icons up there. I think that's pretty important. You want people to be able to find everything pretty quickly. And as opposed to the 10 minute website I think it looks a lot better having those social media icons up there. Okay. So that is the hero section. Let's move on to the about section, which I thought looked really cool as well. I didn't really like the stock about section that came with the template right over here. I thought I could have done better. So I went ahead and downloaded a block with this image and this text here. And if I refresh the page, you'll see that those motion effects came into effect as well. And so the image kind of fades up as I scroll into it and then the text comes in from the sides. So then we scroll on down to the services section, which I really like. I went ahead and kind of removed that three image one that we had on the 10 minute site. So I went ahead and removed this section because I didn't really like the three images. I wanted to have it more in depth, I guess. And so with this services section here, I've got five instead of three. And then on top of that, I gave it this hover animation because I thought it was really eye grabbing, especially with those cool images in the background. 
Okay, so that's the services section. I got a little crazy with that one. Let's go down to the project section. I was able to actually add my quote, so that's kind of nice. This one's pretty much the same as the 10 minute website though. So if I go over here, you'll see that it's pretty much identical, except for I think I took out that blue to make it just more black. And so I really like the black look. Other than that, the project section is the same. So let's go ahead and go down. And so this is my new contact section. This time I actually used a widget called Calendly. And I've got a video on the channel that shows you how to do this, but here you can actually click on this and you can set up calendar dates that actually connect directly to your Gmail account that's hooked up to this. So I can choose the 27th and click confirm, and then I can actually schedule a call. And that was kind of the point here. I said, schedule your first consultation call. So that's kind of my contact section here. I also still have that free contact section from the Elementor blocks. And then I also went ahead and played around with these social icons here and I just changed the color so that they match the website because that's a really big deal is making sure that your colors match for the entire site. If we go to the 10 minute website, I don't think I touched them so they're still green. Yeah, which is the stock color that came with it. I was also able to slip in the Instagram that I created and I also have a video on the channel that shows you how to do this. So I thought it was a really nice touch to kind of include their social media as well. So anyways, guys, after doing this challenge, it's actually really interesting even for me to realize how much I can get done in 10 minutes versus one hour building a website. I think it's pretty obvious to say that building a website in 10 minutes might not be your best option. You might wanna spend a little bit more time, especially if this is gonna be your baby or for your business. But the whole point of spending an hour on my website was trying to add a bunch of functionality as well as motion graphics and trying to make it look presentable as well. If you wanna learn more about web design, click on the playlist in the top left corner. That's where you'll find step-by-step -step tutorials to guide you through building your own website. And if you were inspired to get started building your website today, be sure to click on the link in the top right corner and you'll get 78% off of your web hosting plan as well as a free domain name. I'll see you guys in the next video.